Yo guys, what's up? Real quick, just wanna let you guys know that we're giving away a free pair of shoes. You can enter through Facebook or Instagram, and instructions are in the last video, the Obama Yang video, so check that out. Also, I've yet to talk about this, but YouTube has changed dramatically over the course of a few months. So if you wanna support the channel, leave a comment, like the videos, subscribe, and if you've already subscribed, look down there at the subscribe button right next to it, you'll see a bell. Click on that to get all of the notifications for when we put out new videos. We have a ton of crazy stuff planned for 2017 that I hope you guys will like. All right, I hope you guys enjoy the video. A big shout out and a big thanks to All American Indoor Sports for letting us film there, and I'll see you guys next time, all right? Go guys. All right guys, we got defending today. Okay, massively important skill. And if you're an attacker, a midfielder, then you still need to watch this video because we have something in it for you. If you are a defender though, you should know that it's not just about being big and strong. Of course, if you are big or strong, you should use that to your advantage. So, some of you might be saying, well, Will, aren't you a midfielder or a striker? What do you know about defending? Everything. I know everything about defending. Okay, but seriously, it's part of the game and everybody needs to know how to defend, especially if you play for a very defensive coach like I did at my last club. Everybody knows that you need to get close when you're trying to close down an attacker, but of course, if you get too close, the attacker is gonna know exactly what to do and go straight around you. First point, get close, yes. Don't dive in though. Because if you come flying in, and you make it easy for the attacker. Next most important point, you do not want to stand flat-footed. Standing like this, obviously you can get nutmeg, you can get turned really easily. If the defender cuts one way, or if the attacker cuts one way, you start doing this, and this, it's over. As soon as you get up to the attacker, you need to get planted, basically on your toes. You should be ready. If they cut this way, you're here. The other way, you're here. You need to be able to shuffle, you need to be able to turn, all those things. And the only way you're gonna be able to do that and stop an attacker is if you're on your toes. All right, so most of you guys should know that it's important to try and push the attacker one way. If you do know that somebody is predominantly left-footed, then yeah, okay, it's fine. Try to push them to the right. But remember, if you start to get predictable yourself, you're gonna get exposed. So when you're trying to push someone one way, it's important that you don't go into the tackle like this completely sideways. The most important thing as a defender is to be able to keep your balance and to not let them shake you. And when you go into a tackle, do not go into a tackle weak. Sticking your toe in like this, lunging like that, these type of things, more than not, you're gonna get beat. So when you're ready to go into the tackle, really step in or come in with the tackle, all right? Diving in, lunging in, all those things, that's how you get beat, that's how you get nutmeg, and that's how you get burned, all right? So stay away from those. So another point, where to look when you're defending. Some guys will tell you that you only need to look at the ball. And when you're defending, if you just look at the ball, that you should be all right. But that's not necessarily the case. Because what's gonna happen is an attacker's gonna come up and instead of just doing the step overs, you're, you're fine. He does all of this stuff and dances over here and you're just looking at the ball, that's great. And then he comes in and then he does a snake. And then you fall down and you break 85 ankles. And nobody wants to break 85 ankles. So, you don't just wanna look at the ball, you also wanna look at the body. But not just the body, because if you just look at the body, like I said, you'll start falling for all these fakes and all that stuff, all right? Keep your eyes on both him and the ball. You'll figure out some happy medium between both of those, but it's really important that you don't stay flat-footed, that you don't stay completely sideways. 
Like I've said earlier, I am a midfielder and sometimes I'm a striker as well. So I know, and after being a pro now for over 10 years, defenders, they play mind games with you. And it's important as a defender to know about the things that you can do to try and trick the attacker into thinking that he has more time, more space, try to get him off his game, all those things. So we're gonna talk about things that pros do in order to fool attackers, okay? If I was an attacker and I was trying to score on that goal, maybe I look back and think, oh, the defender's right there. But all the defender knows is that he's reading the game. And as a defender, you need to do this. The second the pass gets in there, the second that I am receiving the ball, that little push in the back, that little shove is gonna knock me off a little bit and give him a chance to maybe make me pick, make the pass backwards or rock me off my balance as well. And then he can come in and step and take the ball. It's really important if you're a defender, if you're a fullback, a left or right fullback, then you are going to want to know that sometimes you need to be tight, sometimes you don't. You don't always just wanna be on tight and you don't always wanna to give too much space, all right? More than not, you wanna be close, but sometimes you need to play games with the defender. Sometimes they pull, sometimes they do these things. You have to be very careful with those because they are fouls, but you need to know that it's part of the game. And so sometimes a little tug there before, you can get away with that. Defensive midfielders, especially you guys that are playing centrally, it's very important that you guys know how to read the game. And we can't go into that very much in depth today because there's so much outside backs. Defenders, if they're trying to beat you and you're way up at midfield, it's not necessarily really important that you just dive in and get stepped in and they go right past you. It's more important that you contain. And when you are containing, you can't back up forever. But the first thing that you should do, once a guy puts his head down to start dribbling at you, you have got to take a couple steps back and get ready. The second he makes that step over and move, boom, you step in, all right? And when you're back here and you're getting closer to the goal, you might have to pick your time to step in because you can't contain until you're all the way in your goal can't do that either because they're gonna get a shot off or they're gonna keep taking space. All in all, improving as a defender is a long-term process. What you need to do is search to always play against skillful players. The more skillful the player, the better you get and the better your defending IQ will get. If you get beat one-on-one, -on -one, if you get nutmegged, all that stuff, forget about it. It happens to everybody, everybody. So don't worry about that. Keep going, stay consistent. I'm out of here.